Hello everyone and welcome to Dash Connect episode 4. In this episode we're going to talk about cars with modern day navigation systems but your customers still prefer to use Google Maps or Waze to navigate around. Here's what I'm going to tell you. People hate their factory navigation system. They have a 2017 car, doesn't matter where it's 2017 $30,000 car, 2017 $200,000 car. They still hate it. And the reason they hate it is navigation seems to be outdated. Waze or Google Maps have better estimated arrival times have way more features than any factory navigation systems. They constantly update it. The navigation system only gets updates as far as street names. The interface will never change. The features will never be added. Now, with CarPlay and Android Auto, you might think there's some stuff that have, but they're very, very limited. There's no ways on most of them. There's no application. You're limited to what you get. So our full mirroring adapter is the best way to get it done. We have three ways to mirror. We have Android wireless mirroring, we have iPhone wired mirroring and we have a single device that you can connect either iPhone or Android without switching hardware. Now, when you're connecting to either device, you're able to connect Waze or Google Maps. You're also able to do this feature called use direction as a phone call. So when it's connected to your car and customers are using Waze or Google Maps and they're still listening to their audio source, let's say they listen to their CD player or FM radio or satellite radio, it doesn't matter, any audio source. Whenever the direction coming from Waze or Google Maps or any other navigation app, the audio is going to come through the Bluetooth, which means the audio in the car is going to get muted and you will hear the audio coming from the speakers. It's going to give you directions, make a left, make a right, go straight. The reason it's happening is because you know how your customer's phone is connected and it's ringing? So now, instead of just ringing, what it's going to do, it's going to give directions. So it does not require any direction by the driver. The driver just continues to go on his route. There's no buttons to press. It's automatically going to mute the audio, give you direction, and the driver can continue on the route. Also, you can mirror any application, whether it's Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Calculator, Facebook. It's 100% mirroring. There is no limit. With wired connection, for the iPhone, there is no limit. With wireless device for Android, there's no limit. Keep in mind, if you're using wireless um, device that does both Android and iPhone in one, in that device, you're limited to two things. Everything else will work, but two things will not work. Netflix will not work, and downloaded iTunes movies will not work. Everything else will continue to work. You will be able to mirror any other application that you like. Now. Keep in mind, when offering the interface to the customer, you're also able to offer four camera inputs, a front camera, a rear camera, a left camera, and a right camera. You got, if the customer doesn't have a rear camera, in reverse is gonna get a front camera, a rear camera, sorry. If the customer doesn't have a front camera, when you put it in drive out of reverse, the front camera is going to stay on the screen up to 10 miles an hour. The left and right lane watch cameras can be activated with the turn signals. Left turn signal will activate left camera, right turn signal will activate right camera, and then, you can turn any of the cameras on at any time while it drives. So if you want to force on any of the cameras, this can be done easily with one of the radio buttons. So this is what you'd get if you have a customers that have factory navigation systems and they're outdated or they're modern, but still they want to use Google Maps or Waze. You get the interface and you hook it up for them and they have it on their screen without needing, without looking for a way to adjust the phone and their eyesight. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.